table saws. Often the centerpiece of a woodworker's shop and used mainly for cross-cutting and ripping stock, they're a highly versatile tool that many feel are essential for most projects they make. However, with big capability comes a big price tag and often cheaper table saws suffer from accuracy issues due to things like wobbly fences or various other problems. Meaning that a budget table saw is often not a good choice. But could all that be about to change? This is the Rutland 255mm table saw. So first things first, I want to say that I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Rutlands anyway. Uh, I paid the full retail price of £295 for this saw, um, and it is the Rutlands R1618 255mm table saw. It's a 230 volt table saw, uh, and it can tilt its blade from 0 to 45 degrees, with a maximum cut of 85mm at 0 degrees, or, or 90 uh, and a 60 mil maximum cut at 45 degrees as well. It also has a 63 mil dust port, but it does come with an adapter that will fit most shop vacs and fit my tie on one quite well. So within the box, it came with a table saw, insert, um, a push stick, a blade guard, a mitre gauge, the adapter for the dust port, and of course then the metal fence as well. Oh, and of course, a user manual. Setup is relatively painless. The fence adjustment knob just slots on and then you insert a screw, which you tighten up with an Allen key that's provided with the table saw. Once that's all done, the rack and pinion fence moves really freely and smoothly, uh, which is awesome. The fence itself slots on over two uh, nuts um, and these two nuts keep it parallel with the blade, so it was good to go right out the box, and then it just locks in place with these two black clips, um, and you're good to go. The rack and pinion fence itself is awesome, uh, allows you to make micro adjustments, and then you can lock it in place using this black lever on the right, and it doesn't move, there's no play in it whatsoever, which is mega. The table saw insert slots in really smoothly and then is secured in place by a flathead screwdriver. It also has four micro adjustment screws if you need to use those as well. The blade itself can move through a 45 degree bevel uh, and is controlled by a lever along with where you adjust it for height. The blade comes uh, perfectly 90 degrees to the table uh, and then once I put it on the 45 degree bevel, it matched that perfectly too. However, if you're a paranoid woodworker like me who never knows what is square and what isn't anymore, uh, I picked up one of these really cheap, inexpensive digital angle finders. Um, they're magnetic and just stick to the blade. So then you can move the blade through whatever angle you wish and this will tell you when you're exactly dialed in. Uh, it was really inexpensive, but I'll pop a link to one in the description below in case you want to get one for yourself. They, they help deal with my paranoia, which is great. Blade guard just slots on and then you screw it into position. Um, just be careful not to over tighten it or you won't be able to move it up and down and it becomes useless. The adapter for the dust extraction just pops right in uh, and I assume it's like a universal size for the hose because my cheap shop vac fits in just fine with no issues whatsoever. The mitre gauge that comes with the table saw fits in the T-track really well uh, and slides back and forth without sticking. It's got a little bit of play, about one to two mil, but I think from what I understand, that's pretty common with the sort of standard issue uh, mitre gauges, so you may want to invest in a better one. You can also adjust where the track for the mitre gauge sits using these two wing nuts, so you don't smack it into the blade uh, when you're moving your stock through to make cross cuts. Advertised at 22 kilos, it actually feels more like 12. It's very light, so make sure it's secured down to whatever table you're using. Just before we get into the test cards, please do me a favour and hit that like button. It will help share this video to other people so they can make their own opinions on this saw. Click that share button as well and share it with any other woodworkers you know, as this is a relatively new option on the market and some people may not have heard of it yet. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel because over the coming weeks I'll be testing this out more extensively, as well as making some good shop accessories for it, such as a sturdy cart rolled around on and some jigs. Thanks very much. Let's get on with some test cards. Throughout these next few clips, you may notice that the blade guard is missing in a few of them. 
Uh, that was done purely for filming purposes. I don't recommend taking it off. The only time I took it off to make an actual cut was when I tried to make a groove at the end or a dado across a piece of wood just to see how it did with that. Um, but yeah, for the straight cuts and rip cuts, uh, I removed it purely because you couldn't see the blade on the camera and I wanted to show you how it cuts. Uh, and please also bear in mind, this is the blade that comes with the table saw. I've not upgraded it or put anything better in uh, and it just slices through the wood really, really cleanly. The rip cut produced a really straight, clean cut. And again, just using the standard blade that came with this table saw, uh, the cross cut on the miter gauge was perfectly square and required no cleanup or tidying afterwards. And the same was true of the bevel cut I made at 45 degrees as well. The dado I cut in the two by four was clean without much tear out of the back and I wasn't using a sacrificial fence, which is quite impressive. The bottom would require some tidy up, but I would expect that because this isn't a flat toothed blade. Um, so yeah, all in all, really impressed. So overall, do I think it's worth the price? Well, for 300 pounds, I think this is a steal. The fence is rock solid and 90 degrees of the blade. The blade is easily adjustable. And to be totally honest with you, the blade it comes with is cutting through wood like butter and I'm not experiencing much tear up at all. It's accurate, it's portable, and it seems to be of slightly higher quality than some other cheaper models you can buy around the same price. Especially if you consider it's got that rack and pinion fence system, which merely allows you to dial in your measurements quite nicely and ensure the fence stays perfectly parallel to the blade throughout the cut. Thanks very much for watching, and if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. Um, see you on the next one.